If you've been looking for a great budget microphone for your YouTube channel, online stream, or for just chatting with your friends on Discord, then you'll definitely want to check out the FineFine 683A. I was quite impressed by what this microphone was capable of, so let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the FineFine K683A and that's how the manufacturer actually told me to pronounce their brand name, not FiFine, but FineFine. Anyways, we'll do a quick unboxing of the microphone as I believe that packaging and what you get inside the box are important criteria for evaluating a product. The microphone comes inside a fairly small plain white box with a picture of it on the front and some branding. That's really about it. There's really nothing else besides some marketing speak and there weren't really any specifications posted anywhere either, which I think should have been included. Opening up the box, it does come packaged in some nice foam, but we'll take a look at the microphone in just a moment. On the right hand side, we have a smaller accessories box which comes with a 6.5 feet cable, a tripod stand, an adapter if you'll be using this with other stands, and a pop filter which I thought was a great addition. Looking at the design and aesthetics of the K683A, you can see that it's got quite a minimalistic and sleek design, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Now if you've been following my channel for quite some time now, you might have already known that for my voiceovers and what I do for my recordings, I've been using the Blue Yeti. It's a great microphone, it does the job for what I need it to do, and it has excellent crisp audio quality. So I'll be comparing the K683A against the Blue Yeti to see how well it holds up. Compared to the Yeti, you guys can see that the Fine Fine K683A looks tiny, but like I said, that is a better selling point in my opinion as this Yeti can take up quite a bit of space, especially because my desk is so cluttered. The K683A is also very light, so you can toss this with you in a bag and just take it with you on the go, which is pretty convenient because sometimes I'll have to do voiceovers or recordings on the go, and I'll use my phone for that, which doesn't have the best audio quality, so I'll have to work with it quite a bit in processing. But this way, I could plug this into a laptop, which, by the way, the included cable has both USB Type-A and Type-C connectors, making it very versatile. So if you've got one of those new ultra-thin notebooks with just one Type-C ports, because unfortunately that's a thing now, then you're covered there. It's got a smooth matte black finish for the exterior, and the whole entire body is made out of metal, so it feels very solid and premium, which is great because many budget microphones will come with a plastic body and they feel quite cheap. The microphone also has a volume knob, which can be used to control its volume and how sensitive it is to picking up noise. It's got a mute button, and on the back you have a 3.5mm headphone jack, which can be used for listening to audio, as well as monitoring your own voice, which can be useful if you're making content like ASMR videos, where you're constantly having to hear yourself and whatever it is that you might be doing. I do also like how it's got a knob for adjusting the microphone's position. One thing I will say is that I wish the legs for the stand had more adjustable positions. It's only basically got one usable position with all the legs out, and I feel like sometimes it can get in the way of other things like my keyboard. And then the other position is them all the way folded inwards for when you want to transport the microphone. In terms of usability, it is quite easy to use. It's pretty much a plug and play experience where once you have it hooked up to your computer, it'll be ready to go and you can start recording with whatever program you like to use. Okay, so all of that aside, the most important part of this review will of course be the audio test, as that is this microphone's main purpose. So what I did was that I had a Ryzen CPU box laying around on my desk, and on the back there's this short little paragraph talking about boost frequency, so I'll just be reading that and you guys can judge for yourselves as to how the audio quality sounds. I, I just picked up whatever was, you know, laying on my desk, something random, it, there was no particular reason for this, and decided to just read his description. I'll also be including audio quality samples from the Blue Yeti and my Vmoda Boom Pro so you guys can have some other options to compare to as well. Along with that, I will also be including audio clips for background noise tests where I won't be talking but you guys can hear how well it does with some ambient room noise and a PC with multiple fans running in the back. And then I will be talking while using a mechanical keyboard with blue switches. And you guys all know how loud blue switches can be and obnoxious they can be, especially if you're using Discord and you know, you're trying to annoy all, all your friends or that are in the room or lobby. For the Fine Fine K683A, I have the physical volume knob set at 50% with the volume in Windows set to 100%. For the Blue Yeti and Vmoda Boom Pro, I have their volume settings in Windows turned to 100% as they don't have volume control knobs on them, and while the Yeti does have a gain knob, it's not something I use or really recommend as it just boosts the volume too loud and causes distortion. 
All of the audio clips will be also completely unedited. There won't be any sort of processing applied to them to keep them true to their original quality. So with that said, let's get on with the audio tests. Max boost is the maximum frequency achievable by a single core on the processor, running a bursty single threaded workload. Max boost will vary based on several factors including, but not limited to, thermal paste, system cooling, motherboard design, and BIOS. Max boost is the maximum frequency achievable by a single core on the processor, running a bursty single threaded workload. Max boost will vary based on several factors including, but not limited to, thermal paste, system cooling, motherboard design, and BIOS. Max boost is the maximum frequency achievable by a single core on the processor running a bursty single threaded workload. Max boost will vary based on several factors including but not limited to thermal paste, system cooling, motherboard design, and BIOS. Max boost is the maximum frequency achievable by a single core on the processor running a bursty single threaded workload. Max boost will vary based on several factors including but not, not limited to thermal paste, system cooling, and motherboard design and BIOS. Max boost is the maximum frequency achievable by a single core on the processor running a bursty single threaded workload. Max boost will vary based on several factors including but not limited to thermal paste, system cooling, motherboard design, and BIOS. Max boost is the maximum frequency achievable by a single core on the processor running a bursty single threaded workload. Max boost will vary based on several factors including but not limited to thermal paste, system cooling, motherboard design, and BIOS. Alright, so after hearing the audio test, I must say I am quite impressed by the audio quality of the Fine Fine K683A. Clarity wise, I'd say it does a pretty good job, but the Blue Yeti in my opinion still comes out on top. When I listened to the clips, I felt like the signature of the audio from the K683A was a tad bit boomy, but I feel like with some processing and equalization applied, you'd be able to fix that right up. Though it does do a pretty good job at letting the listener fully understand what the user is saying, everything I was saying was very easy to understand, it was crystal clear. As for background noise, it does seem to pick up more ambient noise than both the Vmoda Boom Pro and the Blue Yeti, which is saying something considering the fact that the Blue Yeti has been known for picking up background noises, and that can be quite problematic, which is why I use the Vmoda Boom Pro for Discord. To be fair though, the Vmoda is a boom microphone that sits right up close to your mouth, so it doesn't need to get as loud or sensitive, however it did have the most inferior audio quality out of the bunch. With the Blue Yeti background noise, it did seem a bit more suppressed, and while using the mechanical keyboard, I could make out what I was seeing from this microphone the clearest. Overall, the Fine Fine K683A does deliver some really good audio quality, and if you're willing to just take a few minutes to tune the audio right, get your environment set up correctly, and do a bit of processing, you'll have some really great professional sounding voiceovers for your videos or streams. What's also great is that compared to the Blue Yeti, this microphone is significantly cheaper. At the time of making this video, the Blue Yeti on Amazon currently retails for around 160 bucks, which is definitely pretty steep. I remember paying way less than that back in 2015. So due to demand, I'm assuming the price has gone up significantly. However, the Fine Fine K683A goes for around 70 bucks Canadian, which is less than half the price. So in terms of value, you're getting way better performance per dollar here, that's for sure. And that pretty much outweighs all the positives of the Blue Yeti. So in my opinion, it just makes it a no brainer to go with the K683A. So if you're interested in buying one, Link for it will be down in the video description. I highly recommend checking it out. I hope you guys found this video to be informative and helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the video description on ways to support the channel and for my other videos. If you guys are interested in more content like this, then make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.